a little bit about it on my last few posts but lately I've just been feeling I don't even not even lately guys like the past I'd say year and a half maybe two years I moved out of my parents house I think it was two years ago a little bit over two years so probably a year and a half ago I've always struggled with depression anxiety and I was diagnosed with OCD at a young age and for a while it went away but for some reason, as soon as I got out to Vegas, I just felt, I felt like I was missing something. And I don't know if it was my family that I missed or if it was just me just being scared, being out alone. I just felt, I've just been feeling down. But recently, recently, I mean, it's been affecting my workouts. I have been inconsistent, I think for about a little over a month now, maybe two months, I'm not sure, but that is not like me. It's never, I've never been at a point where I've just been like, I don't want to work out, like with no reason behind it, not because I'm tired, not because my body needs rest, and I've been, <clears throat> I've never faked my emotions on social media as far as like if I'm happy when I'm not, I would never be like, oh yeah, I'm so happy, happy, happy when I'm not. I would just like not post, and it's just been a, something that I've been struggling with, so I thought if I made a video, I would kind of make myself accountable, and maybe I could help other people. That's what we're gonna do today, and I'm just gonna give you guys a bunch of ideas, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to throw in a workout video, um, just something that I like to do if I'm struggling or you know if I haven't been consistent and I want to get back into the gym but not my normal routine because it's really challenging and when you're getting back into the gym I think the best thing to do is to start slow for one so you don't kill yourself two so you're not discouraged of you know that you can't lift the same weight anymore or your endurance isn't as high so yeah I'm gonna include that and uh, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, stay around, keep watching to hear all the tips. My little baby is the sweetest. So, I'm just gonna go through some of the tips. Empty out your fridge of bad foods. I didn't even talk about this in the intro, but I was also struggling with eating bad foods. I would go between, back and forth between, oh, well, it's a lifestyle, and you know, it's all about balance. If my friends can do it, then so can I, and you know, uh, they look fit and healthy and they're eating a bunch of bad foods, but first of all, it's not even about how your body looks on the outside, it's honestly how you look, how you feel on the inside. Like, when I eat a bunch of bad foods, just for no, like, for no reason, I'm just sitting and binge eating, I mean, you just feel like shit. Like, day after day, you're just continuously eating bad foods, um, and something that helped me was to just empty out my fridge completely. If there's no temptations around you, I doubt you're gonna go to the store, walk inside, buy a bunch of bad foods, out of sight, out of mind. This has helped me so much. Another huge, huge, huge thing that helped me, this company called HelloFresh. I've been using this company for about a week now and I could tell a difference in my mental health. I could see a difference just with my time management. I love the company because you get fresh meals delivered to your door every single week. You could customize it, you could have vegetarian packages, low calorie packages, Basically something for everyone and anyone so you're not just stuck with one choice. I always feel like I get more than I should. So that's one huge thing that I love about it is measured out beforehand. So they measure out everything, I'll never have leftovers. The meals are absolutely delicious. I'm a bad cook. 
I never make recipes. For me, I just find myself eating the same foods over and over again. I've been trying to find something like this and there's a lot of great reviews, so I tried it myself and it's just awesome because it's really affordable too. So especially since me, I've been trying to save money. And also guys, I wanna add in really quick, the meals are now only from 566 per serving. And I don't know about you, but I mean, that's way cheaper than a trip to the grocery store with a bunch of ingredients that you're gonna eventually get throw away because you get too much. Another thing that's awesome is if you travel a lot like me and you have your delivery coming for the week, you could cancel it or reschedule it and you could just have it come another day when you're gonna be there. So all you guys have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use my code MADISONG90 for $90 off your first month. That's nine free meals, including shipping. Another thing is to clean out your whole apartment and this is something that I love just with a fresh start in general it's just so good just to have a cleanse if there's clutter all over the place stuff is piling up in the sink there's messes all around you're not gonna be motivated to do anything work working out doing something for yourself and you just your whole environment just feels dirty so just having a reset and cleaning up your entire apartment is something that really helped me restart and refresh um yeah another thing is to set up a new workout routine and i absolutely love this if you already have a program or you're not on a program yet i suggest finding a new one getting something that is really helpful to you and something that you could walk in the gym and feel confident in what you're doing. If you go to the gym and you have no idea what you're doing and you're just kind of like looking around, like, you know, feeling all nervous, I mean, you're just not, you're not gonna have a good workout, you're gonna feel anxious, you're gonna do a couple workouts, then you're gonna probably go on the treadmill or the Stairmaster for five minutes and then leave. So having a good plan and knowing what you're doing, feeling confident with that plan, that is everything. I love to switch up my routine, to challenge myself, and use something that doesn't make me feel bored. I still use my booty guides, guys. Like, I still use my gym booty guide one and two, and my tone tummy guide. They're my favorite guides. Um, and yeah, so definitely suggest looking into finding a workout guide, something that is going to help you and challenges you and something that you're, you'll feel comfortable with. This one is huge and this is setting new goals. Write them down, hang them up, remind yourself of them every day. Write down your why again, your why. Why did you start working out in the first place? Why did you even begin your fitness journey? What does it mean to you? What did it mean to you when you first started? Write all these things down. Sometimes life goes so fast and we forget why we even started in the first place. How it makes us feel, how it made us feel, that spark. Because it didn't go away and if you dig deep and find it again, that is just the start to something so much more beautiful and you're gonna find more whys. So write down your why, write down your goals and hang it up and remind yourself of that every single day. Get a haircut, do either a big or small change, something that is going to affect you in a positive way and make you feel just refreshed and reset and ready for this new journey of yours. You think I'd be able to rock this? Hmm. Yeah. Could I? I really think so. I hope some of the tips that I gave you really helped you see the light because there is a light at the end of the tunnel and whatever you're going through now, it will get better, it does get better and you just have to refocus and start small. Start small every day and doing even one of these things every week, okay? It's going to add up, it's going to help. Start small, even by going to the gym a couple days a week just to get back into it. Make it a goal to have two to three healthy meals a day if you can, and then slowly incorporate more. But it all starts with you, and it all starts with taking baby steps, and you're not alone. And I'm glad I could be able to share a lot of this stuff with you because I was afraid, and you know, I was afraid to talk about the lows and the downs in my life, and I always have, but lately I've been feeling like I've been doing it too much, and I want my page and my channel to be somewhere where you guys could just feel happy and safe and just you know feel all the positive vibes and when I'm not happy I feel like you know it won't you guys can't be happy
so I just stretch and usually after I get a good stretch in I stretch for about 15 to 20 minutes today I didn't do it that long just because we're filming but I'm going to be activating my glutes I forgot my band sadly I always bring my bands um, but if you don't have bands and if your gym has a hip abduction machine then that's a great way to activate your glutes um, I usually like to stretch first then warm up then activate activation should always be last because when you're growing your glutes that's the last thing that you want to do uh, before you train your glutes so yeah let's go okay so i'm going to be warming up with the hip abduction machine i really like to do this um or activation activating my glutes and if i don't want to do the stairmaster usually i would do a little circuit so today i'm going to do jump squats and jumping lunges so i'll show you guys what i do seconds each and I would do like three to five rounds but since we're getting back into it because I haven't been that consistent lately I'm only gonna do two rounds of that just to get my heart rate going <laughs> usually I like to wait a little bit before I go into my activation so we're gonna wait like 15 seconds and then go right into that that the only way you could use this is if you're right on the edge or doing some cra crazy things standing up. My advice is do whatever works for you. So try it out, test it out. Each hip abduction machine is different, every machine is. So the weight's gonna be different and your movement's gonna be different, the placement. So try it out and see what works for you. Lately I've been liking this. I feel like it hits all of my glute muscles at the same time. Let's see what works for you. And I don't have a set time of how many minutes I activate, I just go until they are on fire. I don't stop until they're on fire. That's when I know I'm ready to work out. If it starts to get easy, I'm gonna add some weight. Go up one, see if that makes a difference. It definitely does, so I'm gonna stick it out. If you're not feeling it in your glutes on this machine, use lighter weight. Every placement you do, you're gonna feel it a different way. Try and switch it up. Sometimes I like to lower the weight to a weight that's super easy for me, just to get a burnout. Another thing is placing your hands on where you want to feel it. So I'd place it right here to really feel the burn. That helps with mind muscle connection. Alright guys, so normally I would start out with a pretty heavy weight for my lunges. I could go up to 100, but today I'm going to start with 60 because we're getting right back into it and I don't want to end up hurting myself or just having a heart attack on the gym floor and dying. So I'm gonna use 60 pounds today.
right, guys, so I'm going into my second set. Um, as far as reps, I like to set a number of sets in my mind, an unrealistic number. Well, not unrealistic, but something that's challenging that I know that's challenging, and I don't stop until I hit that number. So let's say it's 30 arm curls. I don't stop until I get 30 because that's the goal that I set. I either do that or AMRAP. So for lunches, I just go until I can't anymore because right into deadlifts. Straight like Alright guys, so I just let it run from here. The workout will be in the description. I just stopped talking because there ended up being a lot of people coming into the gym and I was shy to talk. So yeah, um, it's just full of supersets, triceps, then I did some uh, did quads, and then I did some abs to finish it off, and that was my workout. So yeah, check the description for the full workout details. And make sure you leave in the comments below if you like voiceovers or me talking directly to you guys in the gym, like a live feed, sort of. Okay. Alright guys, thank you and hope you enjoy.
thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you follow me on all my other social medias because I post there every single day and if you have any questions regarding fitness or my guides mad essentials anything please email me at mgfitnesscontact at gmail.com and yeah thank you guys so much bye